to breakfast or day three. <laughs> So this is one of the last days here at the resort. So we're eating up as much as we can because today is going to be a long day. Well, a long couple days. Yeah, this totally makes me hungry. Morning! <laughs> so we brought some of our luggage here to Nash's parents' house here in Barakai just to lighten up the load a bit for when we do end up staying here for a portion of our trip. It is super hot right now and there is no electricity. Nash's mom is worried that I'm gonna sweat everything out and get skinny and people are gonna think no one fed me. I love it out here though. This is exactly what I anticipated. This is a branch that fell on the power lines during Typhoon Ursula. The route as to why there's no electricity now. So after dropping off our stuff, we need to get ready as we have a lot more things we have to do. So we're getting dropped off at the beachfront by Nash's dad and their uncle. And chances are when we get there, we're gonna eat. I still don't know what to think about putting my life in someone else's hands riding through these narrow corridors with no helmets on. I guess it's the norm here though, and I like the wind blowing through my hair. It's fun. So Nasha's dad and uncle drop us off here in front of Jasper's. A hot spot. Good food, good price. So this is the game. You gotta run across the street. What's going on? Man, the smells coming out of this restaurant? Amazing. Delicious traditional Filipino food at a fraction of the cost. This is a great place. So after that quick bite, or merienda, as we call it in our language, we start heading towards the jetty port. We're on our way back to Kateklan because we're picking someone up. So we're here on the Kataklan side, just waiting for, well, you'll see. They're here, Nash's brother and his family. <laughs> it sounds like they haven't eaten yet, so that usually means we're going to be eating too. Yeah, buddy. So I'm not coming back to Canada, you guys. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to become a porter. One thing Nash and I really miss about the Philippines is this place, Anduks. Yeah, so good and so cheap. So this is an awesome moment because Nash hasn't seen her brother now in about 12 years. Having said that, we decided to put our cameras down for the rest of the night, so we'll see you guys in the morning. What's that? Uh... 
Ja. Morning. Morning. Breakfast. Hi, Zion. So it's New Year's Eve, and this is the first time Nash's clan is complete. So we're just spending time with the family and getting organized until tonight. Everybody's wearing red. Yeah, we ready. Look to the left, look to the right. Nothing can stop me in the night like I am leaving all the bad stuff. And trying to remain so strong. I know it's good if I want. I got it. I got it. So this is where we're going to be ringing in our new year. We're just about to have dinner, everyone's starving, so here we go. Alright, remember this. This set the pace for the rest of the night. I'm not exactly sure what I was doing with my arm just now, this little fist pump thing, but pay attention to that. So as the night winds down and this party comes to a close, Nash, her sister Den, and I have different plans. San Mig Light, you got me. Nash's goal was to show me the real Baraka, so we took to the beachfront for some party. Crazy. This is Barakai. The party never ends. No, we're not done. It only gets wilder and liver. These guys are technically just practicing for the bigger performance. It's funny, because law enforcement tries breaking up the party too, but here they are. What did you get? 
We pretty much just walked the beachfront from party to party. And that was the end of the night. Till next time, you guys. Catch you soon. You kidding me? We just started! So someone mentioned that there was a banging club in this direction, so we headed this way. We picked up a few friends along the way, and some just stuck. Yeah, they came inside. What's your name, dog? Gabby. Gabby? Uh, Frederico. 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 Yeah, man. <laughs> So this dude just straight up told my wife that I'm his date to the bar and then he paid for my entrance. <laughs> Thanks homie! So it's really cool. The dance floor is made of sand. I'm not quite sure what I was hammering in, but whatever it is, I'm sure it's in. Six in the morning, and the light is coming out. The party just ended. Happy New morning. Year! Good morning! I'm shocked at the types of parties they throw here. Awesome. Yeah. So we're waiting for a sunrise. 6 a.m. So this is Burakai. This is how we do it here. We party at night, then you go home morning. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and then you're still drinking at morning. Good morning. Good morning. Holy cow. So it's like what? 6 3 in the a.m. <laughs> oh my god. My head is spinning. Hi, if you like that video, go ahead and hit that like button. Good morning, everyone! <laughs> Holy cow. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Everybody. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Yay! Happy New Year! And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon for more notifications. Thank you for watching another episode of Net and Tho, only here on Tequila Creative. From Ongbar. And the breakfast. Oh, so good. <laughs>